Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue talking about Niagara and texture samples in Unreal 4. Specifically, we're going to talk about how we can use blueprints and user parameters to change our texture in our texture sampler. So if you haven't checked out the other videos on texture samples, I recommend that you go and check them out. The emitter and the system that I'm using in this video are going to be the ones that I used in the first video. So to get this started, I'm going to open up my Niagara system. And the first thing to point out is that in particle spawn, this is where our sample texture lives. So we can't really update this, but we can reinitiate this. We can restart it. And you'll understand what I mean in a little bit. So I'm going to come to my sample texture and I'm actually going to clear out my texture. So that there's nothing in there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to user parameters. And I'm going to add a new user parameter. And this is going to be a texture, specifically a texture sample. And when I add that, I'll just rename this really quick. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it something silly. And then in my texture, I'm going to put the same texture that I had before into this slot. And now that user parameter, I'm going to use that in sample texture. Instead of the texture sample here, I'm going to put the one texture sample right into here. And now if we save that and let it compile, it should look no different. It should be just the same. But now that we have the user parameter, we can go and use that in a blueprint. So I'm going to close out of this. And now I'm going to right click in my content browser and I'm going to create a new blueprint class from an actor. And we'll give it a name, BP, whatever you want. And then we'll open it up. Now immediately, the first thing I want to do is add my Niagara system to this. So I'm going to add component and I'll search for Niagara. We get Niagara particle system. I'll leave it the same name as it is. And then over in the details panel, I'm going to add that system that I just created, the one that has the texture that we want to change. So I'm going to search for it and I'll add it. And right away, you should see that your Niagara system is showing up. So now there's some things I want to do to it. So I'm going to come to the event graph. Now my plan here is to hit a key on the keyboard and change the texture. So I'm going to get rid of these two events and I'll keep event begin play. And right away I'll drag off of that and we're searching for enable input. This is what gives us keyboard control. With that, we also need a reference to the player controller. So I'll drag off a player controller. I'm going to type in get player controller. And now the next thing we need is a key. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to search for keyboard. And you can use whatever key you want. In my case, I think I'll use something like H. And we'll just put this off to the side. Because the next thing we need to do is we need to set up our Niagara system to change that texture. So I'm going to drag out a reference to our Niagara system. And then off of that, we're going to drag out and I'm going to search for set texture. And we're looking for set texture object. Now in here, in the override name, this is where we want to put that user parameter that we just set up. So I'm going to write out user dot and then whatever you name that parameter. In my case, it was user dot the one. And now you can actually come to this drop down and you go and select the texture. But I want to promote this to a variable. So I'm going to right click on this pin and I'll click promote to variable. And now I can't add a texture to this yet because I have to compile the blueprint first. So we'll compile and now I can select the texture that I want to put in here. So I'll click on the drop down and I'm going to just choose one of these random ones like the icon green. And then the last thing we need to do is just hook up our keyboard press. So I'll drag pressed into set texture object, and I'll hit compile. Now we should be set up. So let's go take a look at what we have. So I'll close out of this, and I'm going to drag this blueprint out into the world. I'll just set this here. And now I'll go and play, and I'll go and find that. And we can see that our system is cycling through. And we'll wait until it restarts, because if you hit H on the keyboard right now, it won't change. It won't change at all. But when it resets, Now it'll change. 
you have to actually wait until it starts over for that texture swap to change. Now, there's one more thing that we can add if we want it to be immediate. So if we come back to our blueprint and we look at our Niagara system, if we drag off from the reference of it, we want to look for reinitialize system. So once we add this and we just drag this pin in, now if we compile and we save it, just minimize this, drag this back out, and we play, we should now be able to reset this whenever we want. So we hit H and it changes immediately, but it also resets the system. So now if you want to add a few more bells and whistles to this, we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up three textures that we can randomly pick between. So we already have a variable for our texture that has this icon green in it. So I'm going to duplicate this two times, just name these 02, I'll duplicate that one more time, call this 03, then we need to compile before we can add textures to them, but I'll compile, then the second one I'll add my original texture, and then the third one I'll add another random one, we'll do this AI spawn point, and we want to drag out a reference to each one of these, so we'll get that texture, we'll get this texture, and we'll get this texture. Now, we want to combine these into an array. So I'm gonna drag off of one of these pins, any of these, and I can type in make array. And now, when we click on add pin, we can make this array bigger. So I'll add these all in. So now we have an array of these three textures but now I want to find a way to get one of these textures randomly. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to type in get array, and you get a copy or you can get a reference. In this case, I'm going to get a reference. And we'll just connect this array into this one. And now we need to find a way to choose between these. So the array starts at zero. In a way, this is counting up from one. So zero, one, two, these are three different arrays. So zero represents this first texture, one will represent the second, third, and so on. So we need to find a way to define this randomly. So I'm gonna make one more variable, and I'll name this random. And over in the details panel, I'm gonna change this to an integer. And then I'm gonna drag out this random, and I wanna set it. And we're gonna put this right here in between our key press and our set texture object. This way we're gonna set the randomization before we choose the texture. Now, in this pin, I'm gonna drag out, and I'm just gonna search for random. And in here, we have random integer in range. So I'll choose that, and then I wanna say from zero to two. So we're saying our three different textures. And now when we set that, we also want to get that. So I'm gonna drag out this random and get it, and then we'll just plug that in, and now, instead of just this one texture being in here, we're gonna plug this output in. So now when we press H, we're going to set a random number between zero and two, and then when we get to the set texture object, it's gonna get a random number, and then it's gonna choose one of these textures, and then it'll set that parameter. And then of course, we'll also reinitialize the system right away. So let's compile that, and we'll save, and then let's go take a look at what we have. And it does look like I got rid of my player start, so I'll drag my player start back out. And we'll zero that out. And we'll drag out our blueprint. We'll also set that to zero. And then let's play and go and find that. So we have our blueprint in here. It's cycling through. There's our original one. If I hit H, it's gonna change to the green face. Hit H again. Keep on hitting it. We get our original texture, and then we get our third texture. So it's gonna choose each one of those at random. All right guys, this should be a good example of how you can change or update your texture. But if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.